Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and this week's video will feature myself and the noise coming from outside. There are some delightful people cutting the grass just outside my house and since this is the only time I can record my video on a Saturday then we're just going to have to deal with that for the whole video. Because that field is massive. This week has certainly been an interesting one in the mobile technology realm because HTC took the wraps off their brand new HTC One M8 and although that's nothing to do with the iPhone I still wanted to compare the two anyway so when they announced it I compared the specifications and there's a link to that page in the site down below you can see the specifications for all sorts of things including size, dimensions, battery life, camera display and compared it with the S5 and the iPhone 5S so check that out. On that comparison note I also compared the HTC One with the iPhone 5S in terms of its hardware and design. Now the reason I did this is mostly because the HTC's design language and the materials they use and the hardware and the quality behind it are actually very similar to Apple's but there are some differences in terms of size, dimensions, shapes and all that so again please check that out. And almost two weeks after it was released iOS 7.1 is still proving to be something of a discussion topic at today's iPhone.com. Firstly earlier in the week I revealed some results to a poll that we undertook. It showed that most people with an iPhone 5S were receiving less battery life with their iOS 7.1 updates. And in fact, 30% of the people who took our poll said that they weren't lasting much longer than four hours on a single charge, which is quite frankly terrible. Now, if you're one of these that suffered, you didn't take part in our poll, please let me know. Use the comments below. Has your iPhone just stopped lasting as long as it should? Or is it better than ever? Let us know. We'd love to hear your feedback on this because after all... We need to know how the iPhone experience is for you guys. You don't just want to be listening to me and hearing what my thoughts are all the time. If you do that, you'd be, I don't know, really bored a lot of the time. Continuing with the iOS 7.1 topic, there's also the news that it has been jailbroken on the iPhone 4S. Sort of. It's not publicly available because they're not going to release a jailbreak tool that only works on one device perhaps some of the time. But there is progress being made and it is going to happen. So for those of you who haven't updated, you shouldn't have to wait too much longer before there's some sort of release that will allow you to jailbreak iOS 7.1 and use all your favorite tweaks and all sorts of sidious stuff. One rather entertaining story and I guess on the surface it's not very entertaining. But it entertained me nonetheless. There was an iPhone 6 dummy prototype supposedly was leaked this week and we commented on that on today's iPhone.com and the reason why we commented on it was mostly because it doesn't look real. And the problem is that what's happened is somebody's designed this, I don't know, big plastic slab that looks vaguely like an iPhone but slightly bigger. I say slightly bigger, it's a lot bigger than the current iPhone. Which I guess is kind of what we're all hoping for and a lot of people are expecting. We hope iPhone 6 is going to be bigger. Some are saying 4.7 inch, some are saying 5.5 inches, some are saying both. So who knows? But this dummy still didn't look quite right. It was essentially just a blown up version of the iPhone. And what made it really fake for me was that when you look at the camera placement on the front and the back, everything is just wrong. The camera, the FaceTime camera is almost right up to the edge where the chamfered edges are, which is technically impossible. There's nothing framing the top of it, and if there was, it would be so thin that it would crack in a real device. But on the back, there was no pill-shaped LED hole. If the camera was way too far away from the left-hand edge, and again, a bit too far to the top. So we don't think it's a genuine dummy prototype. And now, what these dummy prototypes generally are when they're real it's an opportunity for case makers to get their accessories ready for when the iPhone actually launches. So they use these along with some schematics and they design their cases based on these measurements without actually having had their hands on a real genuine device. Now, the problem is when somebody leaks something like this and a case maker makes cases based on that and then they discover that actually it's not the right thing at all, then everything can go wrong. So if some case makers like when the iPhone 4S was released for months before that came out. 
there was an iPhone 5 schematic going around and case makers started making cases for this iPhone 5 that actually never turned out to be real. And, and these weren't small companies. It was like Casemates, for instance, released a leaked image showing their cases for the iPhone 5. It was terrible. I mean, people were actually making stuff for a device that didn't ever exist. So let's hope that doesn't happen this time. And one more article that you should definitely read, and if you don't read any of the other ones that we wrote, you should definitely read this one. Uh, Adam, our senior editor, wrote something up on iTunes for Android. Now, you'll remember maybe last week or the week before, some rumours started playing around that Apple was planning to release an iTunes app for Android, which to me doesn't make a great deal of sense at first impressions. I mean, it's iTunes. It's for an iPhone. And besides, there are so many other options on Android to download your music onto an Android phone anyway that it really, it, it just seems daft. Anyway, read that, let us know what you think. Do you think Apple should ever release an iTunes app for Android devices? And if they did, why? Let us know what you think the point of it would be. Unless it's iTunes Radio, I really can't see it. But then again, we've still got Spotify, we've got Deezer, we've got Pandora, we've got Last FM, we've got Radio... There are all so many apps doing the same thing already that it seems kind of pointless to have an iTunes radio app from another platform on Android. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this week. That has been the roundup of this week's most interesting and guest discussion worthy topics. Of course, there were tons more articles and posts and all that kind of goodness on today's iPhone.com. So please go ahead and check that site out and I will see you again soon. Don't forget to tweet me. I'm at TIP underscore cam. Ciao. I am your father. <laughs>